Hi, welcome to 7 Fact. Here you'll find the most awesome collection of facts about every single country on earth. In this episode we'll talk about Australia's Heard Island and McDonald Islands. Click on this playlist to watch the rest of the series. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I upload 3 times a week, every week. The territory of Heard Island and Macdonald Islands is an Australian external territory comprising a volcanic group of barren Antarctic islands. These islands are among the most remote places on Earth. They are located approximately 4,099 km southwest of Perth, 4,200 km southeast of South Africa, 3,830 km southeast of Madagascar, and 1,630 km north of Antarctica. So no matter which direction you take, you'll have a long way to go before you find any signs of civilization. It's not so surprising then that not one soul lives here. Neither island cluster had recorded visitors until the mid-1850s. An American sailor, John Hurd, reported seeing the larger island in 1853 and promptly named it after himself. Not long after, in 1854, William MacDonald discovered the second largest island, then reported the discovery and also promptly named the island after himself. Britain formally claimed Heard Island and Macdonald Islands in 1910, but transferred them to Australia only in 1947. Heard Island is the largest island and has an area of 368 square kilometers. The place is practically one active volcano, covered with glaciers. The volcano, Big Ben, rises to a height of 2,745 meters at Mawson Peak, so it's quite the behemoth. In fact, it's bigger than any other mountain on the Australian mainland. If by any chance you end up on this island, don't stick around for too long. Big Ben has erupted several times over the past two decades. Macdonald Island lies 43.5 kilometers due west of Heard Island. This one is a mere 186 meters high, but it too is an active volcano. Prior to 1992, the volcano had not erupted in the previous 75,000 years. However, since 1992, it has erupted several times, in 1996, 1997, 2001 and 2005, almost doubling the surface area of the island. So, you know, avoid this place too, if you can. The place is however a World Heritage Site and, despite all this volcanic activity, it has a thriving wildlife. As I said, this territory is one of the most remote places on Earth, and it's horribly windy and cold. But it's a great place for penguins, seabirds and seals, not so much for humans. Being World Heritage listed and located within a nature reserve, Heard Island and Macdonald Islands are strictly protected from human intervention. There is however a possibility to visit these places, but it is very difficult to get there and thus very costly. Anyone wishing to visit the islands also must first obtain a permit from the Australian Antarctic Division. But if you do get to visit the place, it will probably be the experience of a lifetime. Heard Island and Macdonald Islands is also one of the wildest places on Earth. I mean, after all, you have an active volcano under snow and glacial ice that rise above the world's stormiest waters, located in the middle of nowhere and inhabited by typical Antarctic wildlife. So, as a consequence, the territory is the only sub-Antarctic island group that has an intact ecosystem to which no known species had been introduced directly by humans and where the ongoing evolution of plants and animals occurs in a natural state. The vast numbers of penguins and seals that occupy the beaches are considered one of the greatest wildlife sites of the world. 
And that's not all. Despite the unforgiving environment, there are also 25 species of insects, one land snail, one flowering plant, 23 species of fish, kelp algae, and a long list of seabirds. Talking about wildlife, the seals on these islands were once on the verge of being wiped out due to human activity. In the 1880s, sealers, the equivalent of whalers but hunting seals instead, moved to the island and almost wiped out the seal colony. Sealers from the Corinthian, led by Captain Erasmus Darwin Rogers, went ashore at a place called Oil Barrel Point. At the sailing period from 1855 to 1880, a number of American sealers also spent a year or more on the island, living in appalling conditions in dark, smelly huts, also at Oil Barrel Point. At its peak, the community consisted of 200 people. By 1880, sealers had wiped out most of the seal population and then left the island. In all, the islands furnished more than 100,000 barrels of elephant sea oil during this period. Thankfully, they left before it was too late and the seal population managed to recover to its previous population size. These were 7 facts about Heard Island and McDonald Island. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.